What's up, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? Are you dealing with a, a, a karmic baby mama or baby daddy? Is your karmic, is your, your baby mama a karmic? Is your baby daddy a karmic, Divine Feminine? You're dealing with someone who is delusional, insecure, obsessive, someone who's angry, hateful, resentful, overly competitive, someone who's uh, disconnected from reality, jealous, holds grudges, manipulative, and disconnected from reality. If that's what you're dealing with, you're dealing with the karma someone who's toxic. So this reading is about your karmic baby mama or your karmic baby daddy. We're going to find out what they have to say to you and what you have to say to them. Or how you, how are they feeling and how are you feeling. So first we're going to start off collective divine fam. What's the overall energy of the divine family? I chose a third party over you, and now I realize that I made a big mistake. What do I need to make this right? So somebody, your person chose a third party over you. Divorce on the rise. Some of you, um, you divorcing this person because their sex was whack to you. Their sex was tragic. Okay, and it's the it divorce is on the rise. Spirit is saying to watch others' energy around you. Don't let them fool. Okay. Someone wants to have you feeling trapped. You were feeling trapped in a relationship, divine feminine, divine masculine, with somebody who you didn't like their sex. Okay, this person, they hurt you but because they're hurt, but they didn't hurt you intentionally, okay? It's going to be hard to fuck over you, been there and done that. Somebody's name may start with the letter B. You are no longer letting this person break your time, okay? Some of you divine masculines, divine feminines, you told this person, you know... They chose somebody over you, and maybe they, they chose a third party. What is the third party over here? What is the third party that the karmic chose over the divine collective? What is the third party? Whoever the third party was, they would leave you. They would start shit with you to leave, to be around this third party. So that tells me that the third party, it wasn't a uh, a job. It wasn't a, a it wasn't an addiction. It was a person. Okay. And this person would start shit with you and then they would leave. So I believe collective, the last time they did this, you uh you you let them have the last word, you let them talk shit, and you let them walk out the door. And now, since they did that, they can't fuck over you no more. They can't come at you foul no more. You're not, you know, um, they chose a third party over you. They talked shit to you. They was wasting your time, and you're not letting them do that no more. And I said this person didn't intentionally hurt you. They did. They intentionally hurt you because they hurt. Okay? Some of you, you could have called this person your best friend. This person, you could have busted them. They may have a baby on the way that you don't know about. You came out of the chaos and conflict 
and now they want to marry you to stop you from chasing because you stopped chasing. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this was you was married to this person. They said you had a smart ass mouth. Birds of a feather flock together, so be wise with who you deal with. Because you're either the queen or the king of hearts, and you're very loving and caring, and your ancestors are watching. So judgment day is coming against all who've done you dirty, divine family. My ex done black magic on me. Now I'm clearing their energy from my space. Mm -hmm. Sitting on your throne looking great. Losing sleep. Spirit guys are watching over you. Don't doubt yourself. You made the right decision. So because you're very, you know, um, kingy or queenie of hearts, because you're so loving and kind, now you're sitting on your throne because you're a king or a queen, right? Don't doubt yourself. You made the right decision. You didn't have to do anything. Now this person is losing sleep because that third party ain't what they thought it was going to be. And they getting karma. You're not. Your spiritual, your spiritual guys is watching over you, okay? This person was trying to send uh, a spiritual group to attack you. And if I'm the way I'm feeling, it's like toxic love they 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 get with with their third parties and they talk about you that's the spiritual group they little friends and shit now this person is coming back to you trying to offer you something and you telling them bitch don't kill my body and they telling you i really don't have a reason to be mad at you i'm just mad at myself because you're ignoring my messages now i thought that i broke you mentally and now i'm sitting here watching your happiness I miss your smile. I miss you so much. Can we talk for a minute or live longer? Um, Spirit is saying for you to put salt around your doors and your windows because this person is trying to come back. You need to protect your energy because this person is being false. Okay, and spirits say they have to go now. They pretend that they're not proud of you, but they secretly are. You may need to get more information before proceeding. Double check the fine print on something you forgot. So somebody out there, you may have some contracts to sign or some documents or something. Make sure you sign them and date them and um, double check them because it's something you forgot before you send them off, before you turn them in or take them out. Okay. Spirit is saying this person will never change because they're full of lies. They're deceptive. They're a cheater and they're a narcissist. And they're watching you. And for some of you, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or this baby mama or baby mama, baby daddy for me. And this is the energy of somebody's baby mama, baby daddy karma. Okay? They see you doing great things with your life like you balling. And you told this person, I don't want to be number one. I want to be the only one, period. You're balancing yourself out. Spirit is saying to protect your home and space. They're going to keep on saying it, keep on saying it, because this is the karmic deck, and they tell you many times in this deck to protect your home, to, to clear your energy, um, because karmics are the ones that's doing the black magic and the spell work and the manipulation and all of that shit, okay? The message that you need to listen to, they will never change, okay? You told this person, I could have did this shit on my own. They raping your time. You're not letting them no more. Side piece wants your spot, so let them have it. Because, see, they dealing with somebody who who you have your person looking good. You make yourself look good. You know how to create your own abundance to find them. So, you know, this person, this karmic that's running after them, they're going to find out pretty soon that what they see you glittery and sparkling and shining in that this person didn't didn't do this for you this person didn't buy this for you this you did this yourself you paid for it yourself you created it yourself so they got with your person thinking that they doing all of this shit for you but in reality you doing it yourself but they find it out now they find it out mm -hmm. Now you chilling and relaxing. Some of you is taking a vacation. And they watching you throwing evil eye and jealousy. Um, your person, there was no equal give and take in the relationship. And they took all you gave with nothing in return. Okay? Spirit is saying, don't, don't depend on this person's energy. 
Don't depend on their money, their time, or their love. Just focus on yourself. Okay, some of y'all, this was a sandbox bully that you grew up with. But you have a big winning, a jackpot, lottery wins, and lots of money is on its way. See, this person was dealing with low vibration, deep drinking, drugs and all that type of shit, prostitution. You know, and your person is telling you, I don't love them, I just use them to make you jealous. And now I've lost you. Yeah, because they was hanging around a karmic energy. You told this person, well, basically, um, your dick is tragic or your pussy is whack. I don't want it and I'll never come back. You walked away from the drama. Mm -hmm. You got the last laugh because they tried to take you down. I'm telling this person, no, no, no. So all you can do is go somewhere and smoke a blunt. Okay? They're telling you they love you forever. They don't love you. They're lying because if they love you, they would never cheat on you. If they loved you, they wouldn't have let a third party come in, in between. Okay? They sold their soul for money. That third party had to be money. Um, they have friends that's toxic. And this person has never been in love. So the way they're treating you is how they've been treated. Okay? So that tells you a lot. They're treating you shitty. That's how they've been treated. So you need to heal your energy from this person. You need to, uh, you can purchase a a uh, spiritual healing package for me for $27. All you do is email me, pinkscorpion at email, pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. And we go from there, okay? $27. Um, it comes with uh, everything for protection um, with the spiritual bath. The, um, I don't know if I'll put the spiritual bath in, but the healing crystals and candles, um, yeah, I'll put the spiritual bath in it, all for $27, okay? So, yeah, this person has never been in love, they sold, they soul, and they're telling you that they can be your king if you let them, or they can be your queen, but they're lying. They can't be a king, or they can't be a queen, because they don't know how to treat themselves like royalty. Mm -hmm. Somebody told them that they was pregnant to get, to break y'all up. Or somebody uh, tried to get y'all pregnant to break you up. Okay. This person is saying, I'm sorry I met you when I was going through a breakup. I can't communicate, so I properly, I play music. They can't communicate. Can't, excuse my fan, I haven't had a hot flash. But um, they can't communicate properly to you, so they play music. So if you're dealing with somebody, if he always playing music, start paying attention to what he or she is saying. Start playing, paying attention to the songs. You know, it's it's when when I was growing up and I would hear my mother playing songs. I didn't never really know what them songs meant until I grew up. And one day I started listening to the songs and I actually broke down and cried and listening to the words that my mother was singing to my father. So it's a lot of songs and things that people express when it when when it comes to music and songs. So this person they may not know how to express themselves to you so they play music so just start listening to the songs that they play they're, they're trying to tell you how they feel how are they acting when they listen to the songs they going along with it is they they, they um, expressing it that means that's what they feeling so start paying attention to the songs that they sing I mean to the songs that they listen to okay so yeah and their ex is throwing negative energy at you if this person ain't never been in love, they they have a toxic ex. She's a karmic clown. Okay. And you came out of the darkness that left you numb. You over this person. You told them stop crying over spilled milk and kick the cart into the curb and move the fuck on. This person could have, you know, tried to give you some sort of gift. And um, you need to check that item. If they recently gave you a gift, check it because it can have some sort of demonic attachment to it. It can have some sort of spell work. Um, any any gifts that this people or this person has given you, I suggest you put it around the altar, burn you some um, white candles around it, and put it in the center of the altar and, altar and ask for protection in case... You know, if you're not for sure, or you, you got something, a gift from somebody that you now feeling weird about, and you burn some sage and, and you, you put some protection around, okay, for you.
Peach tree. Peach, peach, peach tree. Peach tea. Okay. Peach tea. Peach tea. Okay, Spirit, what else, what else does the Divine Pam need to know? What else? They see you looking beautiful, sexy, and smart, or handsome, sexy, and smart. Um, this person has a weakness for the same sex. And you reclaim your time from them. <clears throat> this person is just a squirrel trying to get enough. Their past karmic energy that's trying to reconcile with you. So spirit is saying, don't get used to their toxic energy. Now they're telling you, I want to take you out and spend more time with you. That's because you're taking full control of your life. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. That's a demon. Don't be fooled. See, they could have they they could be the demon. Spirit could be saying they could be the demon. Or who they who they thought where the grass was greener. They realized that was a demon. Okay. That's for somebody and not for everybody. They could be the demon, have the attachment, or the person that they left you for could be the demon. And this person has too much pride to apologize. And now they're empty-handed in the shame because divine energy. When they was with you, they kept money in their pocket. When they when they away from you and they go to karmic energy, it's like they, they slot machine and locked up on them. Spirit can lock that slot machine up because this is a fuck boy or fuck girl energy. This is an ex that you stopped wasting your time on and you knew they wasn't shit. And now they having a tower moment. Because mm -hmm. cheaters never win. And you inspired this person secretly with your healing crystals, your sage, your palo sante, your spiritual baths and shit. They think that's cute. They didn't say nothing. They act like they hate it. But they thought that shit was cute. They admired it. Okay. And again, if you want to purchase a spiritual um, spiritual a protection kit for me, it comes with, I, I will from now on, I'll add the spiritual bath. It'll come with the spiritual bath mix. Which inside the spiritual bath will come with three healing crystals inside, and um, this is a spiritual bath mix, and I just purchased some more crystals. So each one will come with um, three crystals. That's for protection, you know, to uh, get rid of evil. So each should come with three crystals. I got the crystals all in the bag. So each come with, with a, a healing crystal. These are clear quartz. And they're there for clarity if you want to, you know, um, open open your third eye. As a matter of fact, I usually have one right here. You you can like how I have my head scarf on, divine feminine, divine masculine. You get you some crystals, you keep them in your pocket. You order from me each bag will each each order um, each Spiritual protection pack will come with uh, a stem of sage with seven healing crystals. Um, um, the majority of them will be um, chakra stones, but I want to get you some um, protection against black magic in it. So it'll come with that, the spiritual bath, and the uh, thing. I, I think I'm going to sell it from, for 33.33 because the shipping and handling too. So if you want to order a package for me, um, it's a full package with all the protection. It comes with candles, crystals, spiritual bath mix, the sage. That's it. For $33.33. I'm gonna have to change it on my description. But um, if you're interested in purchasing one, then go ahead.
the divine feminine, divine masculine, I'm gonna start this reading. This resonated with you. If this person chose a third party over you, then please go to ass and take. Peace.